a lot of chaotic plant care and repots, making up for all the months of no plant care on these babies. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her, and this week we're doing plant chores together. I don't have time to do all the plant chores together, so I decided to just film them in little bits. And we're starting with taking my big beautiful queen anthurium out of the terrarium. Because she doesn't look very happy there, I think because the pot is quite small, it's carved out of a rock, that she's not getting enough water. I don't remember to water in there often enough as well. And I think she'll be happier in a prop box, in a pot with more moisture in general. For this video, I've decided to not do voiceovers for all the bits where I'm not talking to camera. A little bit more ASMR type content because I had a headache while filming this, so I don't talk everywhere. And also I'm having a headache now while I'm editing this. Come on, come on, Maisie. So <laughs> That's a lot of roots. Yeah. Check her out. There are definitely a lot of roots. The whole pot was filled with roots. So I definitely think a pot upgrade, a bigger pot and fresh soil and fertilizer is going to help her be happy again. Ah, I'm so excited we're doing this. Thank you for the help on the Instagram poll. That is still not a super big pot, but we'll make it work. I'm using the Soil Ninja Anthurium and Orchid mix that you can use my code for. Plant with Rose will get you a discount or I'll link it in the description as well. The soil already has some worm castings in them, but I like to add some extra because she hasn't had fertilizer in a long time. Nicely measured by accident, by experience. Oh, yeah. I also have this little plant that's been struggling, so that's getting its own pot. This is a Margravia elcoca. That's getting some less dry soil. How do you say, like less chunky, more moisture holding. Oh, it's too dark, you can't see. But it's a smaller pot that now fits into the humidity dome. We have some warm water. I think that went pretty well. Now I'm going to put her in one of the prop boxes that I currently use for isolation for pests because I know there are thrips in the terrarium. I also saw some mealy bugs on the back of her, so she needs some good good bugs, actually a lot of good bugs to help with that, but it's just one leaf, so it'll be fine. Before I put her in the insulation box, I actually want to put some moss around the base here. Can you see what I'm doing? Maybe not. <laughs> to help keep the stem higher humidity and activate more roots around the stem. There we go. That should do it. One more thing we can do today is throw this plant away. This is my Hoya Lacunosa. And as you can see, it's not happy. It grew really, really well for me for years. It flowered many times. It was just beautiful. The smell of the flowers I love, but it did not like this whole renovation situation. So we're not actually even gonna rescue it because there's no tissue to rescue from. Plus, if I want it again, I'm sure one of my friends will give me a cutting and I can restart it all the way from the beginning again. So, excuse the mess. Thank you and goodbye. In the green bin you go. Actually, I see another plant we can repot today. This is my Philodendron Florida Ghost that I got from an import. It was my second ghost, so I kind of ignored it a lot. It grew really well upstairs at first. 
but then I think it has thrips. It's grown from many different points in here, but none of them are really coming through. It's super wobbly. It's in a tiny pot and I think it can do with a bit of care and more light too, because these leaves are not very ghostly. I just cleaned everything up, but here we go again. This is what happens when I try to do one quick chore while editing a video. <sighs> okay, we're gonna pot up some more probably. That's why I switched some more lights on. But first let's focus on the Florida ghost. Eek. I know, it's been a while. You deserve love too. is it's so bright i think we can put this one on a moss pole which will help this is an old moss pole from the greenhouse that i'm reusing just because this is not my most favorite plant and it can use a old moss pole and with old i mean it's covered in roots on the inside and that plant that was on it had thrips at some point but since i think this one does anyway it's okay so for a plant that already has a pretty big stem you can't see anything. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna attach it to the moss pole and pot it up nice and deep in the pot. Hopefully. Hopefully. I need some clips. Should I go to the shop to get some clips? This is turning into a whole ordeal. in my pot, not my plant pot, but my cooking pan pot thing. I found one tiny clip, so we can use that for now. Okay, that's better. Oh, this is such bad angles. I'm so disappointed. I want more light, but it's dark outside. Should we wait with this? Look at how many nice roots. Okay, the Monstera needs to be potted up. Look at these nice roots. This is the Monstera Mint High Constellation Platinum, weird names. Then we have the Variegated Philodendron Radiatum that is actually growing. So I don't want to stress it out too much. Maybe I should wait with this one until the new leaf is out, because it might be too stressful. And then this one is the Philodendron Ilsamani. That is also growing a bunch of roots in the water, so I think this is ready to be potted up. And it's not making a new leaf, so the stress is not in the wrong time. Of course, I just brought all the pots outside that I don't need, that I now do need. Bigger pots needed. One sec. There we go. Let's see. This one can definitely also use a moss pole, but that means that I have to make moss poles from the flat packs and I don't have time to do that. So we're just gonna pot him or her. What is it? Ilse Mani. Ilse, girl. I'm gonna just pot her up for now. But look at these nice roots here at the top. I might put some moss around that or something and a little stick to keep her Going upright, guiding the roots down to the soil. You too, you little one, I see you. Last one for today, for sure. Last one, I promise. <laughs> Promising myself, especially because I need to edit. Let's see, where is your growth point? There's one. Just seeing if I can pot this in a way that the growth points are facing up, but there is two. I think I'm just gonna have the leaf facing up to make it a little bit easier. Ah! Sorry, boyfriend. <sighs> Cleaned the house yesterday and now I'm making a mess again. This one also needs a little stick to keep it up straight. 
This one is perfect, a very short stick, but just enough so it doesn't move as the leaves, uh, as the roots are trying to attach and grow into the soil. They have stress enough from having to switch from water into soil. There we go. My boyfriend is helping with this next part to see if Ferry will be happier upstairs. Also his suggestion, he said, this plant is not getting enough light. And he was right, and I was wrong. Okay. Where is it again? Wesselswaar. Pas op voor de bovenkant. Ja, goed. Beetje naar voren leunen, ja. Goed zo. Ik wil dit al niet. Ik film het al. <laughs> yes! Very. Thank you, boyfriend. On his birthday, too. <laughs> He's like, get out. Get out of here. Yesterday we had my boyfriend's parents over for dinner for his birthday and my father-in-law asked about the soil of my Thai constellation. He said it looks very dry. So I got out my measuring thing to show him that it wasn't dry, that it's just a chunky mix. Turns out the plants are actually super, super dry. So <laughs> we're gonna start with watering them. While we're waiting for the water to fill up, let me show you the greenhouse, which is currently more of a storage space for the renovation. And look at all this chaos. All this stuff is making it a little bit hard to take care of my plants. Luckily, most of the cacti and succulents don't need water in the winter. But if you look down there, there's <laughs> some very sad plants from cold damage that used to be a gloriosum. Once they're Adansoni and some other aeroids. This banana also looks quite sad, but that can still come back. And then the succulents, I think they're gonna be okay without my care for a while because I just cannot get there at all. Time to water all the plants. I sped this up, of course, to keep it interesting. And you may hear some background noise because I love listening to audiobooks. With a headache, I can't really read or look at screens too long, but I can listen to books again. Whoops, I noticed this plant was actually sitting in a ton of water instead of needing water, so I poured that in the next plant. If you're curious, I'm currently listening to the fourth book of the Thursday Murder Club series. It's about several old people in an old people home that come across some murders and they all are very interesting characters. It's very fun to listen to main characters that are so different from me. So it's been really heartwarming and also interesting because it's a murder solving situation. So highly recommend. What are your favorite books? I like books with a happy ending. It can have some murder in it, but not too gloomy or thrillery. So I would love your recommendations in the comments if you have them. And then it's also time to do some repotting because I have quite a few that need a big repot. All right, I actually found a lot more that could do with a repot, like this beautiful Ficus elastica that is in a very, very small pot. And also some of my climbers on moss poles will have to repot. Let's get organized. So can you see this properly? Maybe you need to be a bit closer. Closer. This is my beautiful Labicia that I kind of propagated accidentally that we're now going to try and pot up straight up again instead of in a food container laying down, lying down, laying down, I don't know. This is one of the stems that's growing but not a lot yet, look here. And this is the other one. This has a lot of roots on the back. I was just handling some perlite, so <clears throat> my throat feels stuffy. Okay, small pot, this one. This soil is very wet, so I'm gonna reuse it. If 
think that will be good for it because this is a terrarium plant. Labisia are some of the most beautiful terrarium plants I've ever seen. Keep in mind, I'm quite new to them and my experience with repotting them is not very much. <sighs> okay, the soil is very wet, so I'm definitely not gonna water it, but put it somewhere in a higher humidity spot and then it should be okay. One. Let's see, next up. Shall we do the little... Oh, it's making a new leaf. Might not like being repotted right now. Well, it's getting dark because it's a gloomy day. Let's see. Is that a little bit better? Yes. So this is a beautiful new leaf, but this pot is quite small. So we're gonna see if we can improve that. Yeah, that can work. I didn't realize it in the moment, but it has been so long since I had my hands in the soil, literally at least four months, and it feels so, so nice. Just even watching this back is really satisfying. <laughs> I really want to try and grow a few more ficus this year. I might even start another ficus lirata, the fiddle leaf fig. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm doing the easy ones first, cause they are less stressful than some of my very expensive ones that we're also going to repot today. Like this um, La Lepismium bolivianum. It's a small plant that's adorable. Maybe in one of these. Just one size up should be good. I have a little soil mix down here. With garden center, potting soil, and then some added perlite. I didn't have any bark in the house, otherwise I would have added that to make it more chunky. I only had one bag of soil ninja mix that I want to use for the fancy anthuriums coming up. There we go. So this is a anthurium, a special anthurium. It's Carla Blackie number seven crossed with Dressleri which should turn into beautiful plants. There's a new leaf right there. And there's two plants in this pot that we're going to separate just to <clears throat> give both of them a little bit more space. Let's see. There. This one is doing really well, the big one. Whoa, that is taking over. See how few roots the small one has? It's definitely gonna be happier with more space of its own. I think we're gonna pop this back in the small pot with just more space for itself. I do like this soil. This is very just common poke on um, organic potting mix, but I've noticed that it does get fungus gnats a lot. I will have to keep an eye on the fungus gnats. We'll put out some traps for them and also I will water soon with some uh, nematodes again. The person I got this from uh, gave me actually two tags since there were two plants in the pot. So that's very, very handy. I'm always very bad with tags and now I can just pop them in and know what is what later on. I would like a little bit more chunky of a mix for this bigger one. So we are gonna add in some Soil Ninja Anthurium and Orchid mix. Which is just very, very nice. If you want to try it, you can use my code PLANTWITHROSE for a discount, and that's also an affiliate link. So I make a very small percentage of that, and that is very helpful with the renovation. We need all the extra income that we can get, so if you're out looking for something, one of the brands that I recommend, I should have a link or an affiliate discount code in the description of this video and also on my website, PLANTWITHROSE that will really help me and also you because you get a discount. Of course, only buy something if you actually need it. Oh, I'm very excited to see this new leaf. The petiole looks like it's getting some ruffles, like mm, square looking petiole. Maybe Dresleri has that naturally. I don't think I'll be able to show you because it's so small, but that looks happier. Need some water now, but that will come. Here are the other anthurium that we're repotting. These are similarly special. This is anthurium dark phoenix crossed with luxuriance platinum. 
you can see the luxuriance for sure in there already this one is oh Carla Blackie crossed with dark Phoenix currently not very dark because it's in a very light spot and then we have the official Carla Blackie this one has a new leaf had a new leaf that dried up so that's what made me remember to take care of these a little bit better kind of ignored them for a while these two are quite small you can pop them in their own small pots each of them let's see these ones are next the luxuriance mix they are pretty root bound whoa whoa <laughs> that's so satisfying these both could do with a bigger pot. Sure. So much better. Yay. Okay, last one. Carla Blackie herself. The queen. The roots are pretty good for this pot, but because she dried out so much, I am gonna give her a slightly bigger pot just to prevent any drying out in the future also a little bit more moisture holding soil mixed in there how are you all doing it's kind of nice it feels it's monday morning now and it feels like i'm sitting here just chill with you guys repotting some plants which is so nice that we can create this online community together where we have each other even though we might not even know each other and we cannot hear each other you can hear me <laughs> in this case here's carla in her bigger pot i really enjoy knowing that you're watching and that maybe you're also repotting and yeah thank you is basically what i'm trying to say i think we're moving over to philodendron let me move all the anthuriums out of the way Oh, <laughs> we need to adjust the camera. So this is Rupert, my philodendron Florida beauty. That's been needing a repot ever since before the renovation. Actually, now you might want to be up close again. Hmm. This is what it looks like. I'm just removing most of the old soil because it's been in this pot since I got him, basically. So that's pretty old. Let's see, there's definitely some roots coming from the moss pole. Can you see this one? Comes down from the top of the plant, not from the base here. That's why we love this type of growing on a moss pole. All right, I think you can go back in the same size pot, just with fresh soil the roots aren't huge oh what i forgot to add on the previous one <clears throat> which i like to add with my mixes is extra worm castings which is fertilizer so worm poop basically can't see what I'm doing but my hands are dirty okay that's good next up we have my glorious which is so glorious and growing new leaves right now there's a new point in the back here that it probably doesn't want to focus on but there we go this one is also coming out on all sides with the roots okay let's try and get this out that was good oh this soil feels nice still it doesn't feel too old or condensed or used up <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Look at them. There's a lot of roots in here. That's pretty good. Good job, buddy. Maybe one size bigger. Otherwise, it's just roots. Do we have a little bit bigger? This one, maybe. Just a little bit <laughs> extra space. I think I'm going to reuse the soil in the bottom. And then add some... Where is it? Add some worm poop <laughs> and then mix in some of the fresh as well. Wait, let me go down a little bit so you can see again. Whip. Apparently I don't do repotting sitting down. <laughs> I like to stand. Do you see how many roots that is? That's incredible. And it's just two plants in this pot. In. Add soil first. Fresh soil adding. Oh yeah, you're gonna like this. Some in the back to keep the moss ball steady. Beautiful. This is not the ideal pot, but we'll make it work. Beautiful, glorious. Last up for the moss poles is my splendid that's super rooted once again look at it though look at those beautiful leaves Let's see if we can keep these nice and long yes that was good okay this one has a lot of roots in the pot as well, and even behind here, behind the moss pole, so this gets a bigger pot as well. And new soil. I don't know why, the other one felt very chunky still and light, and this just feels very heavy and soggy, if that makes sense. I don't think I'll untangle it fully because that will just not be nice for it. So we'll leave it like this, and then find a bigger pot, maybe this one, or this one that one i like better because it's taller pot collection do you guys also have a ton of pots as a collection i like it Watching this back feels like I'm baking, adding in little bits and then kneading the dough. <laughs> Maybe I've been watching too much Great British Bake Off lately, but it looks yummy from here. Beautiful. That's perfect. Spencer, looking great. Look at him. That's beautiful. Spencer looking much better. Repot list. So all that's left is the Gloriosum, but for that we need a bit more space. So I'm just gonna move everything away. Ooh, my boyfriend just got home. I found this beauty in the bathroom and I think it also wants a bigger pot and a moss pole. Pretty good roots. A little bit of a bigger pot. Where did I put the pots now? <gasps> that seems about right. Soil. This would be perfect to clip onto a moss pole already, but I don't have a free moss pole at the moment. I have to make them and I don't have enough moss. To make them that's too many steps so we're just gonna leave it here and stick in a little bamboo stake oh it doesn't fit in the pot anymore and this is such a cute pot that's a shame stake yes the little clippies these are just hair clips low budget the biggest plant we are repotting today is my gloriosum my apple and we're doing that because there is two stems in the pot look at that nice fat chunky stem 
but they are now growing into each other. The other one is right here. So there is no space for it to grow anymore. And of course we want it to grow. And then we also have this sad little plant that used to be my philodendron lemon lime. The cold got that one. All right, let's up, up pot, unpot first. This is gonna be a mess. There we go, whoa. Oh, wow. Apple, that's a lot of roots. My buddy. Wow. Come on. This is actually an outdoor pot that has drainage built in. So some of the roots have grown into the drainage holes. But look at this. Wow, those are super long. Oh, this one is rotting. I can take that off. Can you see it? It's very dark because it's so gloomy. Maybe make it a little bit lighter for you. Check this out. Roots growing in ovals, <laughs> not circles, ovals along the bottom. This is still very dry, this soil over here. I need to be better with keeping them moist on all sides. And I planted some baby cuttings in here as well. Let's see if we can free them. Yay! You're free, my friend. Free. Okay, this is the biggest one. Only has one leaf left. Oh, what is he doing? I think he's growing another growth point at the bottom there. Look at this. I think it tried to split the stem and grow Ew, here as well. Eh! Hot fur. Okay, that's a rotting base of a old leaf. That's okay, but what is this? It looks like a second growth point. Do you see that? That is weird. So I tried to split off or something. Okay, these are definitely gonna be happier after this repot. That's a thick stem too. I love it. Okay, let's check out the other ones. Little baby over here. This didn't grow much, but it was in a very cold spot for a while. It does have plenty of roots. Some of them dead. And a new growth point. Next is this part. Okay, this is another baby. Very dry. So this side apparently didn't hold on to any water anymore. And this baby has grown. Duh, this is the nice one. So this has two growth points activated here and here. That's nice. I might pot that up separately for my mom because the one that I showed you in the greenhouse before, that was for my mom, but that died from cold damage. And then this one, that's a lot of soil and roots. Is my face covered in soil again? That's what happens. Um, so this one has a lot of roots as you can see. And then here is the growth point, which Oh, can you see that? That is growing in on itself because it was like, there is no space. Let me out. Let me out, please. Well, you're gonna get out now, buddy. Oh, whoops. I am covered in soil. I have an idea. Since I have a spare one of these pots, I'm gonna, I think, give my mom a nice pot with a big plant in it and then keep just one of the big plants for myself. I think it will be better because these pots are quite shallow and because there's so many roots, I think they will be able to grow better if there's just one of them in a pot, if that makes sense. It has a little bit more 
space that way. So if we imagine, I'm going to keep the chunky one with one leaf in here with the two babies, or maybe one baby for mom and one baby for me. And then this one with the three leaves can go in here, grow freely, and all these roots will have double the space. I think that's a, a good plan. So let's do it. We can even pot this up and then chop the stem into different parts so that she has a fuller pot as well. That's why I love Gloriosum so much and any crawlers because they're rooted so well already. Empty. <laughs> These are so long. I'm just gonna zig them, zigzag them a little bit. And then we'll pop this like this. Mm. It grows in a little bit of a curve as well, so I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't dive into the soil like it likes to do sometimes. So the base of the stem is just more down. <sighs> I need more hands. Boyfriend, <laughs> help me. Pretty good. Now we need you to stay stable. I got a little bamboo stake from one of my other plants. This is not working. Some plant Velcro, also linked in the description. That's pretty good. Some of these older ones are definitely rotted. This one. cutting tool. Hmm. I actually don't see that many happy roots on this. I think it has root rot and has rotted almost all of them. Well, I cut off most of the roots. Surprise! <laughs> I think this is a bit of a rescue, maybe from the cold or something as well, from the renovation. All these roots on this part were dead. You can tell because they are stringy and, and mushy. Here is a nice example. These are two roots from the same spot. This one is black and this one is not black. This one is rotted, also when I squeeze it, it gets flat. This one, when I squeeze it, it's firm. So this one is rotted, the black one. We're gonna cut that off. And then this one looks good. This one also looks dead. Yep. Ugh. Two roots left. No wonder this plant dropped some leaves. And this one at the end is also rotting. So we're cutting that off as well. I think this was not very happy in... Ugh. It's mushy here as well. Now you can see a little bit better what I was talking about with the new growth point. This has split into two, which is taking energy from where it needs to be, the main point. I've had this happen before when I started a new fertilizer that was very, very strong, but then boosted the plant so much that it kind of lost the will to live after that. So this one now definitely has enough space for the roots. <laughs> one, two roots to go. So this is gonna go with the babies in here, and then babies on this side maybe. Wow, that's a bit disappointing. Apple, are you struggling? I'm sorry, baby. A repot mat is very handy, but if you think it protects your house from getting soil everywhere, then you're wrong. At least the way I use it, there's always soil everywhere. Same cloth. We may be able to see the advantages. If we have photos 
on a mobile phone. So, and selected from. Here we go. Apple, my apple is potted up. I put a little baby on this side, other baby on this side. And now we're just gonna hope that it grows again because that's not a lot of roots for a big plant like this. Whew, I'm really tired and I feel very <laughs> overstimulated. I also taught a yoga class today. So I'm gonna clean up the house with my audiobook and then lay on the sofa for a while and hope my boyfriend <laughs> cooks dinner. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already and leave a nice comment. You can also join my Patreon and YouTube membership for a private Discord chat with us and then a Zoom call every month as well if you like. A big thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members. I love you guys, thank you. All right, <sighs> time for me to rest. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care of yourself and also don't forget to rest when you need it. And I will see you next week, bye.